we in Trinidad and Tobago, we do have a strategy, strat plan fatigue and plan fatigue on the whole, where you have plans created and they don't go anywhere. And I said to them, I did not want that. We did not want that to be um, what happened this time. And they gave me their commitment as well that whatever plan they are able to put together based on the research, based on international best practice, based on the value of what we have here in Trinidad and Tobago, they have assured me that the plan that we do produce together is one that would be implementable and would be, the value of it would be seen to all involved, our stakeholders, to us as the company responsible for driving the sector and also to the government. We absolutely understand the challenge that you are stating about why it is, and, and perhaps that, you know, that is actually one of the reasons why it keeps, it doesn't go as far as it needs to, is because it's not entrenched um, and, and, and inside of our system. That's one of the things I raised earlier about the film law and where we've recognized that, and I, and I can't say, and I, I'm happy to be corrected in the room, if it is that an attempt has been done before in terms of putting legislation in place in terms of film and audiovisual. But that is something that we absolutely are looking at as a key goal for the next year, that there must be some kind of policy, as you say quite rightly, and legislation put in place that guides how film is developed and therefore makes it a real part of the national agenda so that come three years from now, we are not as affected as we have been in the past by, by, by elections and so on. So we are looking at a five to 10 year plan. I've asked for a five year plan in terms of the roadmap and then an additional five year visioning down the road. If we do everything that we say, that you say to do in that five years, where can we go next? So we are looking very much at the big picture.